Hello, everyone. Today we are talking to Łukasz Dojka, the CEO of Extreme Fitness, about core pillars of franchise business expansion, uh, how to grow from one to 51 franchise clubs. Um, hi, Łukasz. Welcome to, this, uh, to the show. Hi, David. Thank you for having me. Hello, everyone. Lukas, uh, really looking into the topic, the last time when we spoke, it was around 2014. And at that time, you had two clubs. So uh, 49 clubs later, I really would love to you know, explore your journey and lessons learned along the way. But before we start, Lukas, tell us a bit about yourself, how you ended up in the fitness industry. And of course, a bit about extreme fitness. You have 51 clubs, but what's the size of the clubs and you know, what's your strategic advantage? Okay, yeah, my, my, my story in the health and fitness industry um, uh, reaches my, my teenager years, really. I, I moved to America when I was 17, and I started working. My first job was, was really working in the health and fitness industry. First, I was painting and decorating uh, uh, gyms in my uncle's company, building company. Uh, then, uh, then when I started uh, like full-time full -time work, uh, I started working in a gym, uh, I, like fitness and training and gym was, was sort of my, my passion from teenager years. So when I moved to, uh, to America, I wanted, I wanted to train one and be, uh, work in a gym. That's what I, that's what I wanted to do. So I started working in a gym, gone through, uh, many, many different, uh, positions, uh, work for powerhouse gym, work for, um, work for, uh, export gym in, in America, work for, uh, sports, uh, health and fitness, work for Holmes Place. So many, many, oh, Virgin Active, uh, that was my latest one. I, in all of those companies, I learned a lot. Uh, so it was, I had about a 15 years experience uh, in the health and fitness industry. Um, but the dream, my, my dream was always to, to be an entrepreneur, have my own business, open up, open my, my business and, uh, and grow my business. That's what I wanted to do. And, um, and I moved, uh, decided to move to, to, to Poland from UK. Um, my, my daughter was going to be born. Uh, so, so we decided to uh, they just sell, sell our house, what we have, and, and just basically move to, move to Poland. Um, and uh, I wanted to actually join a, a franchise model, uh, even though I had a lot of experience in the, in, in, in the industry, 15 year experience working for different operators, working with different experts different positions in, in, in the gyms, um, I wasn't too comfortable to, to, to go fully on my own. So I was looking for a franchise model that I can join, uh, but they couldn't find any. Uh, it was 2012 in, in Poland. There, was, uh, there wasn't any uh, many uh, fitness chains, uh, uh, nevertheless, uh, um, franchise chains. So I didn't find any anything uh, then. Uh, actually, I joined, I, I was looking to uh, maybe join some 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 franchise operators in the UK, maybe move the, the model to Poland, uh, but then they didn't work out. So they had no option just to do it on my own. So I decided to open my, my first gym on my own uh, and went with really well. I mean, it was a small gym, 300 meters in, in the basement, uh, but I put a lot of work and my heart in it. Uh, I, I had, uh, I've, I've uh, hired a few, few, pretty much, Few, few, few people that I know uh, that I knew from from the teenager years, um, trained my trained the team, the small team, but trained them, uh, and then decided to grow the business, open the second location, and then third location. All three locations uh, work very well, um, and using my experience, my knowledge from from uh, from the UK, US that I that I uh, uh, developed there, uh, but that was slow. The, the expansion was slow for me. It was three clubs, three years. Um, you know, I thought about having a bigger chain, 20, 30 locations. So when I calculated the time, so if I want to open 30 locations, it's going to take me 30 years. That's definitely, uh, definitely too, too long. I'm not going to wait that long. Uh, and now I was actually, uh, then I was st started thinking about franchise, franchise model. And I remember when I wanted to be on my own, open my gym, I wanted to, to join uh, a, a, a franchise and, and model business model that was already uh, developed, that was working, that I can have a lot of uh, uh, um, people that have experience around me so I can learn from them. And then after those three years, I thought, yeah, let's, let's just look into create a franchise model in Poland because now there was still no, no franchise model. Um, and that's what I started working on. Um, my, my business partner, 
uh, moved uh, moved from from UK also. He's a finance guy now. He's a co-owner of of Exchange Fitness. So he joined me. I, I, you know, we, we spoke a lot at the time, and I said, "Look, you moved to Poland. I need someone like like, like you in a business, and uh, we can do a, you know big things together." Uh, so I decided to do pretty much same thing that I that I've done. Sold his house. Uh, quit his job and move his family to Poland after about uh, 10 years living abroad. And then we started working on the franchise model uh, using using uh, experience based on those three clubs. Uh, but we, you know, even though we, we work already quite a lot on, on the model, we weren't ready to launch the franchise model yet. We thought, you know, we're going to work on it, put a lot of processes and, and, and procedures in place. However, we still got to scale a few more times open our own gyms, a uh, few more few more gyms, and then maybe we're going to be able to launch first franchise clubs. And that's what we've done. We, we opened fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth club, and the ninth club was the first franchise club. That's when we were we were ready. Um, with, with the club number nine, uh, it was a big challenge because, it, you know, you could have your own model that is working, but when you give that model to someone else who's outside, that's a big challenge. So he, is he going to be able to adopt all the all the uh, you know way of working procedure processes in 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 the total new location new environment new team and we made it happen we made it happen first franchisee i've uh, done a very very good job with some there was someone from industry um we've had a big success in that in that club uh, and that's how it started you know and that's how we started we club number 51 most of our clubs are franchise clubs Awesome. Um, Lukash, what's the strategic advantage actually of, of extreme extreme fitness as a, as a club? Uh, I, there's a few things actually. Uh, it's got the model is simple. It's, it's simplicity of, of the model. We're not complicated. We don't have sauna, steam room, jacuzzi, swimming pool. We 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 quite a basic mo model. So it's it's simple, but we also we we also are uh, uh, innovative. So so mm -hmm. now it's got you got to be simple on one side. Simple to scale, simple to transfer the knowledge uh, into into people and into new franchisees. But also, you got to be competitive in the marketplace. Uh, put innovate, innovative, uh, uh, different, different, uh, different. Uh, uh, let's say um, uh, um, gym areas. Uh, we have we have ten uh, x ten x. I was looking for the word ten x ten x training. A functional area combined with application, combined with with technology. We have our own app. We have our own affiliate program. We have a, a VOD platform. So the model is simple, but you got a lot of uh, innovative uh, things attached to it. Um, people, uh, number one, it's it's people. It's 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 people who create action fitness. It, it's community. We we based our, our business is based on membership. So you don't mm -hmm. have a client, we have a member. That's what we call our clients. We, we, mm -hmm. You know, we, we, these are it's members, members based business. And uh, we, we action community. We are extreme. That's what we, you know, we call us. Uh, so we, you know, we want to uh, make sure people grow with us. Our, mem uh, our, our, our leaders grow with us. Uh, we have, uh, you know, history of, 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 of uh, our, our employees that started in reception. Now they have um directors uh positions in, in the organization after five seven years so we have we have good uh, uh scenarios like that and um and you know so the people people is core for us sure um yeah i, I noticed when when looking into you know extreme fitness the things what you're doing that, that you're doing a lot of things in-house like the vod platform the videos you created uh, you've done them by by yourself with your internal team. Like before we started the the, the recording, you said also that you hire actually full time two video graphers, uh, graphers, yeah, creating the video content for you. That you also have video content and and trainings for franchisees and um, so very, very strong on on the video side. Of course, the own app and whole ecosystem that is really helps to uh, differentiate the business. Uh, Ukash, uh, first club. Now 51st, core pillars in, in your mind, what would be the, the, the most important things that, that you think that allows you to, to, to grow the whole business and um, along the way, all the team members with you? Yeah, so with the, with the franchise model, it's, 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 it's slightly different because um, we got to be uh, simple. 
the model's got to be simple to be able to to scale. Uh, so you you, ha you have to be able to transfer whatever you're doing in, in in those 50 clubs into the 51st, 52nd, 53rd quite fast because we we're growing very fast. You know, we opened 20 clubs since the pandemic started. You know, just just since the pandemic started. So so we're growing fast. You, you, by having a simple model, uh, you can scale it. You can transfer the knowledge onto, onto the franchisees. But as I said before, you still got to be innovative. Mm -hmm. uh, you still got you got to innovate. You still got to be flexible in the business, especially right now. So, you know, when you when you large organization and you're flexible, whatever's happening in the marketplace, you can put procedure processes in place quite fast. You're winning. You, you, you're, you're winning. That's where that's when you're winning. So you gotta. That's you know, it's not easy. It's very difficult to do that when you're large. When you because you know it's 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 good when everything's going well. You can move. Everyone move is moving, but whatever it's happening right now, it's not you know it's not stable. You gotta you gotta be looking everywhere. Things are are coming up all the time, and the business is changing. The way we we run a business is changing. You know. Two years ago, three three years ago, four years ago, we wouldn't probably do a video calls. You know, we wouldn't do video calls. We wouldn't, you know, uh, do many many things that we are doing at the moment. Uh, you know, gas prices now, the, the, the electricity uh, heating prices are going up. Now you you still got to adopt. You still got to you know change your your business model and what's happening in the business. Maybe you you got to change your 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 membership prices. Maybe you got to change the the way the the do you sell uh, different income streams etc. So you you got you got to you got to be flexible. Um, mm -hmm. the, uh, you have to in, in the franchise business business you have to look at the franchisee interest uh, because franchisee has to have a good business. He has to make money. He 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 has to he has to grow with within the organization. So not just uh, business. Uh, bring in income, but also the franchisee as a, as a person is growing, as a leader is growing, as a business man, it, it, th th these are growing. So um, th this this is also a, a priority to us uh, and leadership overall. Uh, and actually, in fitness, we, we you know very very much focus on on leadership, uh, uh, growing our uh, growing our uh, growing our our leaders, growing our uh, our. Uh, your team as the leaders we, we you know we have many many um you have a for instance we have a, a, a book of the month month club with with our, our leaders in, in central office so we recommend a book about business leadership whatever can make us better what in what we do on, on, on a daily basis so leadership uh, it's also one of the core pillars in in, in our business I will summarize it a little bit because there's a few things very important that you said. One thing is that you, 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 you know, the franchise business, it has to be simple, but still you have very distinct uh, strategic advantages. But you have to be simple in order basically to be able to scale it. Yeah. Uh, when we spoke when we spoke uh, before the podcast, you, you, you mentioned that, of course, not like in all franchise businesses, it is very important then to have the processes written down uh, so it's easy to implement and then then scale uh, another one is actually that the you know environment uh, business environment is changing so and actually all the time changing it it's great what is kind of constant uh uh, maybe not great in the long run, but you have to adapt as a business person. And easier you can do it, then then better it is for the whole organization. And the third one, and we focused on that quite a lot uh, last time when we spoke, is the leadership. Um, so uh, you mentioned that, okay, you're putting a lot of effort into building uh, leaders within your organization. Uh, you have the... Uh, uh, book club you know how we how we we have book club yeah we have book club book club we will touch uh, we will touch that uh last time also ask you know what's your your biggest challenge with growing the growing the business and you mentioned actually that it is uh leadership developing people could you could you expand on that you know how are you you say that it's very very important because people are driving your business uh so how are you you know, making sure that they are not just managers, but but they are leaders. Yeah, they're leading the team. Yeah, yeah. So it's 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 uh, as you've mentioned, it's one of the most probably difficult 
task in the organization and it's 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 very needed in the large organization once you have the leaderships like the the, the leadership growth structure in place then that's that, that you you're you're very dangerous in, in the marketplace you're, you're very dangerous because because you have the whole as you said environment of of people growing and bringing people with you uh you 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 taking care of your people you're you're making sure people are developing the, the you know the the they have um, they have a way of 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 growing within the organization so um obviously it's it starts in in in, in the central office when when you have a small team of of leaders uh that are they understand what what leadership is uh you know they they they're growing also as 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 leaders they uh, read books about re- leadership they go to different courses about leadership uh, and this is what what's actually we talk about a, a lot in 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 action fitness especially in, in in the central office and we try to transfer that onto other teams so when you have when you have a franchisee who is getting into that environment and he, he understands that he's aware how important leadership is not just managing the team because this is the first part, you know, managing the team is, 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 is just first part. It's obviously the leaders also will, will, will manage, um, especially at the beginning. But once he understands the leadership, its core, and he needs to develop leadership skills, then you have a, a business partner who will scale the business uh, further. He will have second, third, fourth, 10th location, 15th location. Because it, and, and it, it takes time because le- leader you can't you can't develop leadership skills within within months because leadership leader it's not a role within a business it's not a role it's what people it's your people around you um, uh, basically see you as as a person so so you could be a CEO of a company but are you a leader not necessarily. You, you, you could be a managing director of a company by your leader, not necessarily, can be, but the people will call you, people will, will uh, 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 basically uh, uh, see you as a, as a leader or, or not. Um, and uh, and uh, this, is, this is something that we, we put a lot of focus on within, within Action Fitness, uh, especially over the last, I would say, two, three years. Um, and you know, going forward, this is one of the core. We 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 now we're implementing a, a leadership academy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna put a leadership leadership academy in place for 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 people to to develop the leadership skills uh, and grow as the leaders. I'll I'll dive into that topic a little bit. Ukas, you mentioned okay, reading books. Uh, it not happens very often that I spoke uh, speak with some uh, CEO of of a fitness business that they said that they really you know developing themselves not within the fitness industry, but you know outside and also themselves. So reading books, taking courses. But you also mentioned in one of our uh, discussions last discussion that that uh, you have you have you know paying for business coaching. So you have your business coach. Yeah. Um, see, I, I, I see. Um, I see how important that is in the business that you you have. You basically you, you are part of the mastermind group, business mastermind group. That you, you have someone that you, you you look up to. You have someone that you you can reach out to uh, that are better than you, experience more more than you, um, and and then that's what makes you also grow. So yeah, I have a business coach. I have a mentor. I'm in the mastermind group over the last, I would say, a few years, and I, and I've read or listened um, a few hundred books, business books over the last few years. So I know how that's given me uh, as a person, as a, as a leader of an organization, and whatever uh, that's given me, I transfer it onto my team. I want them to grow uh, with with within the organization because I know how important that is. Um, taking into consideration what what we want to achieve in the future. You know, we want to be a market leader. Uh, we want to expand abroad. So we need we need we need a team. We need we need uh, leaders. Uh, and we need a we, we need an environment that we multiply leaders. Yeah, you know, we multiply them. So we have a leaders leadership team that will create more leaders and that will create more real leaders and that will create more leaders. Especially. Very important, especially in the franchise uh, in franchise model, because the franchisee will stay with you long time, long term, and he needs he needs to be a leader for for his team. 
And, and once he develops those leadership skills, he's, he's got his, his uh, uh, team buying into uh, the whole structure and the whole, whole, the whole business because they see themselves growing within that club by, by the side of this franchisee. So, so um, yeah, I've, I've, I, touching base on, 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 the, on the mentoring, coaching, very, I mean, clue for me. Are, are they uh, your your business coach or, or mentors? Are they with uh, from the fitness sector or they're outside of fitness sector? I actually work with someone from a, from a, from a, from a business from a, a industry sector and also uh, from outside the industry sector. Mm -hmm. so, I, so, I, sure. Um, yeah, I also really um, liked it and and find it very important. Like that, you are thinking right now that in order to scale and also go abroad, now is the time actually to scale the the team and develop the skills, not the other way around. That you are already scaling and then uh, going into new markets and then you're looking for actually for leaders because then it's hard to find them. And I, at least from more, um, my experience when when working with different you know fitness operators in different markets, uh, that sometimes when they scale like from fourth to fifth location. If they forget that step, like creating uh, leaders within the club, uh, hiring actually new people, and then growing to, you know, uh, they f they don't do it, and they, you know, open fifth, sixth, seventh location. Most of the time, many people, the key people, they will burn out because there's so much things to do, and we can see that the the company really struggles because then somebody just leave the leave the company, the know how, you know, uh, goes with them. It's very hard for those uh, to scale. And the other way around is actually some examples where, where they scale the team before they scale the business. Of course, you have to be mindful about it because it's also sometimes a cost. Uh, but, but but it's very important. I, I, I can see that right now you're very strategic uh, strategic about that. Uh, Lukas, uh, Lukas, can you give, you, give us an example? What would be... Uh, you said, okay, you want to have a leadership academy because in many cases, when you say, okay, developing a leader, uh, we want to have leaders within our organization, it can be in a like esoteric term. You know, what does that mean? What exactly you want to teach and how you're going to teach somebody to become a leader, not a manager? It, it, is it possible to? Yeah, it's few, it's few basics. Obviously, it takes time because it's it's all in, in your head, in your mind. Who who you wanna be in 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 the future? If you wanna be if you're a leader for people, people will will obviously uh, uh, call you a leader or or, or not. Um, and the people mainly when people grow with you, when people uh, become better with you in what they're doing, um, you have a lot of interest in 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 the person not just in what they do in the organization but actually in, in the person and they can you, you support them uh, and they trust you and they develop better skills to grow within the organization and they're more effective in the organization just because of the whole thing they become leaders they can become leaders so when 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 manager start becoming developing a leadership skills the, the team see it because the team will. Well, I, I see that person grow. What 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 are they doing? Okay, they read books about leadership. They attend academy. They change their personality, how they behave. You know, they they're not doing any any stupid stuff that, that maybe they they've done it before. They change. Like it starts within you, right? It, it you cannot go on a training course pass the training course and become a leader. That doesn't work like that. You know, it, it starts with, within you. So you gotta, you gotta go through that transition in, in, in yourself and say, all right, this is what I wanna become. I wanna become a leader. And then if I wanna become a leader, I need to get out of this chaos that I have in my, my life. Because you cannot become a leader for someone uh, before you, you before you you become a leader for yourself so you got you got to be your own your own leader what do you going to change in yourself first and then people see it you are becoming more effective more productive you are better in what you do and then they want to they, they want a piece of that people want a piece of piece of piece of this so you start you started developing your own skills if you're not disciplined enough if you say to yourself look 
I'm going to get up in the morning and go work out. You know, I'm going to have a morning routine. I'm going to read. A, I don't have a time to read books. So I, I'll, I'll, we'll develop the time within my morning. So I'll, get, I'll, I'll wake up 45 minutes or an hour earlier. If you don't do that, you're not leading yourself. So, so this is the, that's where you got to start. Just little basic, basic stuff. I, a few, few days ago, I saw uh, like a, a little video. It was one of the big um, um, military uh, uh, personalities was doing a speech. And he said, like, you can change the world. Yeah, you can, but you got to start putting your bed together. You know, you got to start cleaning after yourself. This is, this is, this, those little, little things that you start doing. And you start doing, you're leading yourself, you're changing, and you, you're developing more discipline, more good habits. And if you, whatever you're doing, if you, whatever you're doing, people copy that and then become better, you're becoming a leader without even knowing, without even knowing, just because, just be, just by doing, just behaving certain ways, team will see it, they copy that, they become better, and they see you as the leader. That's 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 how it starts. And you also help with it, like uh, you mentioned on one of our uh, conversations that when you have meetings with people, of course, uh, they also manage business, they do stuff, yeah. Uh, uh, but but when you when you end the meetings, uh, you always uh, or often ask, okay, how are you? What do you want to? Uh, or what kind of skill you would like to develop within next three months, uh, personally? And and why you want to uh, why you want to develop it? And you also mentioned that you write it down, so you're aware that somebody says it. Okay, I would like to work on that exact skill, and uh, and maybe okay, I would like to read that book or attend that course because I would like to yeah at the end I would like to learn that skill. So uh, it is within also probably your DNA or or or, or you learned it that that uh, you ask people how they would like to develop personally at your meetings. And uh, when you write it down, it's also kind of, you know, accountability. Huh? It's a commitment, right? It's, it's, it's a commitment. So, so they commit to it. They commit to themselves. And that's how they, they're developing leadership skills. They commit. They, they, they tell you what they want to do. They write it down. They commit to it. They know Right, it's here. It's written. I said it. I can't not do it because I'm then I'm 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 just failing when what I'm just putting my, my, myself in, into in terms of my, my goals. But you also have mentioned David the 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 um, operators, the smaller operators, they grow to four, five, six clubs, and that's where they 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 can't grow any further. It's it that this is the the, the cause. This is actually the cause because once you open up a business, you're the best. You, you know everything. You, you, you're the best in pretty much everything. Your business doesn't bring a lot of income. So you, 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 your team that you develop within you, they're like multi, multitasking team. They're not, they're, not, they're not experts yet. They're not experts yet. So you already feel good because you're the best in everything. So you go to four or five clubs. Now you have a team of, 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 of 20, 30, 40 people still doing a lot by yourself and you burn out. You burn out. Because if you don't grow, if you don't grow, you can't, you don't even, you don't really attract, you don't really attract a lot of talent from outside. You understand? You don't, really, if you don't grow as, as, as a person, as a leader, as a manager, if you don't, if you don't grow, if you don't develop your skills, you know, you don't become better, then it's hard to, it's hard to, they, they look at you and say, oh, there's, there's still, it's, it's still not that. I, I still don't really want to. Get under under the umbrella and work work with, with with that organization with that person because there's quite a lot of chaos. I know I've gone through that. I've gone through that. You know, I've I've gone through that 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 that, that period, and I know exactly how that is. You know, once you you start gr growing yourself, things starting ha start happening. But you know, it, you you need to be disciplined with it. You need to put yourself goals. You need to have priorities in in, in your life. Get rid of the chaos. That's what you need to do, and then stick with it. Once, once you do that, you do that for a longer period of time, magic start happening. So what you mentioned right now, it's okay that if you're not developing yourself as a, as a, as a company owner, as a leader, then you basically reach the point like a ceiling. Yeah, that is very hard for you to, 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 to scale further. Basically, you burn out because you do all the things 
and you think that there is no people on the market with the necessary skills to actually uh, um, you know, move the business forward and you have to do all the things. But in reality, it is the owner's fault. He's not attracting the talent needed to scale the business. Oh, it's Correct. very important. Yeah. Yeah. Very important. It's always, it's always start within yourself. Is your, like successful people will tell you, you know, it, it, books, you can read that in the books. They always start within you. Or you got to change to things, like to, to things start happening within, within whatever, your life, your, your organization, your, your business. If, you, if you're not growing, the business will not grow. That's like, you can only grow to a certain level. As you said, you reach your ceiling and then you're it, it basically, you, you, you got enough. So, no, it's not for me. Can't find talent. Can't, you know do everything by myself. I'm not in a business. I can't go on holiday. I can't have a quiet life. It, 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 I was going to, I thought it was going to be different. That's, that's how it is. Uh, the, 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 the book club, uh, can you, because I think that this is kind of a part of the, of your, of your, uh, DNA part of, you know, helping people to develop themselves. How, how does it work? Why you decided to, you know, uh, promote it within the company? Yeah, it's called uh, a book, book club. It's, it's part of a culture. Um, I've, I've actually uh, taken that from my, my mastermind, my, my uh, coaching. Uh, uh, every, every month, my, our coach gives us uh, a book to read. We feel like in school, and then we know there's uh, many CEOs of, of larger organizations, multi-million organizations, and we read books every month. And if you don't, if you don't read a book, then you're, you can't be part of the mastermind. Uh, so, you know, there's a business book, we got to write a review about it, and we, we talk about what we've learned uh, from, from, from the certain book. So, and we do the same. So, in our leader, uh, leadership meeting every month, uh, part of the, the meeting is to talk about uh, the book, do a little book review, who learned what from, from that book, a few sentences really, a few, few main points. Um, and also one of the, 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 the guys, uh, one of the leaders that, that are participating in the meeting, every meeting will uh, suggest new book to read for everyone. Uh, and it's mainly book about business, about leadership, about, about uh, habits, about, you know, relationship, working environment, that kind of thing. Something that will make us better. So, and then we commit that we read it and next meeting. We talk about it. So part of our leader leadership meeting is about it's about uh, it's about the book actually. So, and we've done it for I would say for for about two years now or more maybe more maybe since since the pandemic started we we've implemented the book club. What what's the feedback from the team? Uh, is this like oh no we have to read again or it's like okay let's do it. At the beginning, it's tough. To, to put that in place uh, because because you know it, once you, if you're not aware yet that that what that's given you what they will give you then it's it's hard it's it's a change you know the, if you go through any change it's it's hard you know you 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 feel like it's 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 maybe it's not for you maybe you don't want to do it because you got to find the time now to do it etc it, it it's it required discipline but once once they do it and you you got to find a way. To persuade them you know you got to find a way to sell it because at the end of the day once they do it they become better they better you know if i i had i had a similar similar problem you know i, I never read books before man in school i was the worst one in books i was i i, I never read books any books like that was the worst thing for me i you know once i dev started developing business and i got reached to the ceiling and someone, one of my friends said, look, read that book. I said, book? What are you talking about? And I read it. And I thought, there's a lot of things that make sense in the book. And I've gone through that in the business. Let's just read another one. Right, okay, makes sense. Read another one. And you become, you become obsessive. Once you become obsessive about your growth, things start ha happening. And you got to pass on to the team. You got to persuade them. Obviously, you can't put a lot of pressure at the beginning and stuff. But once they start doing it, and they see what I've seen at the beginning. That's giving me a lot of knowledge. That's giving me a lot of a lot of good, uh, good, good, good feedback. That it's giving me a lot, lot of things that I can use in my business, managing the team. Right. This is what, this is actually what I was looking for. That they 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 see um, uh, they see uh, a lot a lot, a lot um, uh, advantages when they do it. And then and that's that's becoming the the habit. Now you don't need to persuade anyone. Everyone's doing it. That you can call it a club now. You can call it a club. Like 
they don't forget about it. You know, they, they've got everyone, it's raising hand. I want to, uh, uh, I want to suggest book this month. All right, you can do this, this month. So it's happening and I'm very happy about it because it's, 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 um, it, it is giving us a lot, uh, a, a lot of, uh, a lot, a lot of advantage in, in building leaders. That's, that's for sure. Well, it's great. And it's very inspiring. Um, Lukas, I'll I'll change topic a bit. Uh, uh, let's imagine that the dime are a small chain, and I would love to actually transition this into our franchise business. Use as a as an experienced person, you know, what would you do? Like, uh, okay, you've probably made some mistakes along the way, so just keep the mistake. And you know, if you are talking with a a, a new uh, uh, business owner, you know, three clubs or four clubs. And he said, okay, I would like to build a franchise business. Lukas, what are you telling to him, you know, how to start? Okay. Well, first of all, once you have all the processes and pro procedures in, in place in, in your four, five, six clubs, uh, you get uh, operating manual for franchisee. You got you to gotta look at the numbers um, because the franchisee at the, end, at the end of the day will pay you a franchise fee. So if you, you have a business model that, you can now pass it on to the franchisee. The person will pay you franchise fee and the business makes money and it's proven and you work with the franchisee, the franchisee becomes better and that works. Then it's, it's, it's a good sign. You know, you, it's, it's a first step. You got first franchisee. Now they're, 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 they have a business that is making money and you as a franchisor can uh, make money from that the club eventually maybe not the beginning maybe maybe you, you got to put some other some other uh, um, uh, processes in place that you, you maybe a franchise fee will kick in in some some stage and and then you do it again and then you do it again and then you adjust and then you work with franchisees and you listen for to, to, to for the for their feedback and i've seen a lot of i've seen a lot of uh, franchise models like business models that want to turn into a franchise and then they they first thing they do is to look at uh, the the income you know okay once i do that i don't need to worry about the business franchisee will worry about the business and i still have money from it beautiful it doesn't work like that it doesn't work like that what if the franchisee is not successful it will not feel the success with it not feel your support from the beginning then it doesn't work after those two three locations the, the the franchise thing will fail and that that's how it works so so you gotta so so you, you gotta you gotta scale a few times within your business put procedure processes in place manuals um not just manuals like like uh, many processes procedures that will actually be transferred onto a franchisee the, hit the team so you got training like we have vod platform uh for the whole organization so via any franchise z and his team can go onto the platform and and learn uh reception sales uh service uh instructors they can learn a lot of new, new stuff uh we do off uh off 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 uh, offline also um a lot of training for the for the we, we have academy for the for the new franchisee 10 days many experts within our organization uh take a franchisee through the through the through the training you have you have a franchise manager who's part of it who's like he's, who's who's your your best friend really you know you have a franchise manager who's uh on call on email on video and also regularly in your in your club uh just just supporting you so you have a, you have the support the franchisee needs to have the, needs to have a support and maybe at some stage he needs less support because he becomes an expert but until then he needs to feel a support his business needs to uh, work. He needs to make money, but you also need to make sure you, you find the right franchisee. Not every franchise, not every person is a suitable franchisee for for a model. Now we turn down uh, a lot of a lot of uh, potential franchisees because we knew it's not it's not for them. Uh, maybe industry is not for them. Maybe their like the the way they 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 see the business, it's not really for them. Uh, maybe they want to create their own own strategy, own ideas within a business. Uh, and they, they don't want to work within within the, the procedure processes of the franchise. And if that happens, not ready, you know, because you're going to have a problem with the franchisee. 
So it, it, you you got to filter the the, the 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 people that wanna uh, work with you as a franchisees also because that could be a risk for the business in in, in the future, and especially at the beginning you know you 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 quite flexible, but then you got to adjust and then you got to be more strict uh, at at some stage once you already have you know scalable model scalable model the first few. It's it's the mo the, the first few are very very important to to make sure they're successful uh, and then they scale it. So for us the clue was the first franchisee to open the second location, and if that happens, well we're winners, man. We're, we're winners. And then if, if the second franchisee is able to open the second location, and that's what happened within within us. I mean, okay, we're we're going in the right direction, and then adjust, and then adjust, and then listen to franchisee and watch them. And then adjust and they just not too complicate it because once you get it model you want to implement many things but then you got to look at whoa whoa slow down because now you get a 30 30 different entrepreneurs they got to implement that into the into their business they got they, they got to be part of it if they don't want to do it then you can't really implement that so you got to watch it and be gentle with it sometimes we want to put a, a, a lot more uh, uh, things in place but you we know where the why why we here. You know, we're simple business. We're very eco uh, in terms of in terms of operating cost because because we have a small team, small small structure within a team. Uh, our collabs are not big. They're anywhere between five hundred thousand square meters. Uh, the, the you know we have a great um, design uh, uh, the space of, of the club. We have we have. Uh, uh, nine different training uh, uh, training zones. We have great functional, great weight tra weight training, uh, uh, studio classes. It's, it's, a, it's a full size gym, but it's it's more cost effective than than like a big box gym. Mm -hmm. uh, it works for our franchisees. You can scale it quicker. So just 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 to summarize it. So so at, at the beginning, okay, you have to make sure that your business is successful, that you are actually making money. Then you, you are uh, writing down all the processes that, that you can write down. But then you also mentioned that, okay, creating the training for the, for the franchisee. So one, one, thing, uh, one thing is the VOD platform where you have the training, you know, for reception, for managers, for sales, uh, et cetera. But also then having an academy and, and some with the industry expert within your, your clubs that actually training the franchisee how to run the business. Uh, properly and making sure that he makes money uh, from the start. Of course, uh, maybe take a, a bit longer than, than usually, but, but but making sure that he makes he makes money and you tweak the franchise business and and the end goal here that that you see that you are going to make a success is when the the first franchisee want to actually open another as another as another location. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, that's it. You know, and it's it's. Like this, this training thing uh, of a franchisee and, and the team, it's an ongoing thing. That, then sure. it, it never stops. W once you stop, not a lot, not, not, not a lot of, not, not, not all franchisee will want to develop their team and train the team sure. outside of the organization. Some of them do, but you, you got to take care of that. You know, you, you got to make sure that things are in place, training is in place, academy is in place. Um, Franchise manager support is in place, and you check that. You check that within the organization. What 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 what, what support franchisee will get? How often is the franchise manager in the business? In his business, what do they cover? Do the team needs sales training? How many leads do they get on a monthly basis? What's the sales process like? What's the marketing plan planner plan like for the for the business uh, centrally and also or, or locally? You check every single thing. PNL, you do PNL review. We do PNL reviews with every franchisee regularly. PNL review. So, so it's a very detailed, detailed obviously, uh, breakdown of, of a business uh, because we, we need to react. Uh, you know, if, if things are, are happening, maybe, maybe um, uh, the market changed, maybe you, competition open, whatever's happening, maybe there's a problem within a team, you, we need to notify. Franchise, you know, we, we see that as 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 a, as a problem. You got to react. We help you, and then you have action plan in place for a franchisee. So, 
it's not just a sign above the door to summarize uh, because some some uh, maybe some franchise model work like that you know you got you got a big name brand and you work within the name brand you can do whatever you like not not okay. not, not here we we quite strict but once you come on board and once you buy into our vision and one, once you 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 work within uh, within the team within our team uh, and you do have a t- support of about 70 people in in the central office now uh, that mm-hmm. work uh, for, for success every or every franchisee once you do that man Lucas, uh, we will end here a bit over time. Uh, it's been a pleasure, Lucas. Thank you so much. Um, Lukas, before before we end, just tell uh, all listeners where they can find you online if they would like to connect or if they are interested in in your you know franchise business. Uh, yeah, yeah. So in terms of the the, fr- the franchise business or, or, or action fitness, you can just go on a website www action fitness. Uh, by X, it starts with with X. You can just maybe put that in in, in the uh, below actionfitness.pl, and there is also a link um, for the franchise uh, website. Uh, it's all in Polish, so um, if, if someone uh, that is uh, English speaking wanna contact us, he can contact us also on the website. There is a contact, uh, just contact us. And um, social media, any social media, uh, Action Fitness, every club, every uh, central office. Uh, we do also have the uh, social media, Facebook, uh, Instagram. My personally, me personally, uh, I'm on pretty much most of social media platforms. I have a, a, a YouTube channel, like a business channel uh, called, called Business Mania. Um, and I'm on Facebook, sort of more like lifestyle um and also business business stuff as well you you follow it so you know instagram and I'm, I'm on linkedin um so pretty much any any platform you can just put lucas dojka d-o-j-k-a and then um that's it i'm there we will we will have the links on our website also under the video or under uh, in the podcast section so uh Wukash, one more time thank you so much david thank you very much take care